here. I'm starting recording. Here. Okay. <coughs> Matching headings. Yes, I want to repeat the explanation with recording it. We don't have time to understand each single word of the passage simply because we are under time pressure since we have got to answer 40 questions within 60 minutes. That means 90 seconds, one and a half minutes for each a question. Okay, what they do in the IELTS, they try to trick you with uncommon words in order to mislead you, to try to make you confused. This is what they do in the IELTS. You need to focus on the main things. You need to focus on the main things. Let's come here. A heading. What is a heading? A heading is usually not always the first or the second sentence of the paragraph. It's also called the topic sentence and it really outlines the main purpose of the paragraph. So when it comes to the exam, if you want to try to find the headings fast, it's better to follow a particular search order. What to do? Firstly, you need to read the first sentence of the paragraph. If you find the heading, that's it. You leave the paragraph and move to the other one. If you can't find it, read the second sentence. Okay? Is that understood? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, let's come here to the example. Let me move this one here. Okay. You have list of headings and you have paragraphs. Firstly, read the list of headings, which are here. They usually give them before the passage. You have robots working together, preparing LGVs for takeover, looking ahead. Looking ahead means to think of and about the future. The LGVs main functions, split location for newspaper production, newspapers superseded by technology this one newspapers superseded by technology does not mean that there is a simple expression about technology no it should be as the main idea okay okay Can you uh, okay no no okay. yes okay newspapers uh, newspapers superseded by technology this does not mean that there is a simple expression about technology. No, it should be the main idea, technology. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, uh, getting the newspaper to the printing center. Getting means taking, uh, transferring, transmitting, moving. This is the meaning of getting. Uh, controlling the robots. Beware of robots. Beware means be careful, uh, an alert, a danger. Also, it shows danger. Beware. It means also a warning. If there is a warning, also we choose beware. Danger, warning, and alert. Uh, okay, everyone. Okay. 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 Now let's apply the rule which we have taken. A, the newspaper production process has come a long way from the old days when the paper was written, edited, typeset, and ultimately printed in one building with the journalists working on the upper floors and the printing presses going on the ground floor. Let's reread it. The newspaper production process. The newspaper production process process. It talks about the three important elements. Three important elements. What are they? Newspaper, production process. So, let's look for the heading here. Robots working together. No, we don't need it. Preparing LGVs for takeover. LGVs. It's the first paragraph and we don't know what an LGV is. An LGV for me as an English teacher, I would say language, whatever. So, leave it. Looking ahead. Looking ahead talks about thinking of and about what might happen in the future. So, we don't need it here. 
The LGV is main functions. Another LGV. We don't know what an LGV is yet. Leave it. Split location for newspaper production. Okay. It talks about newspaper production. And it talks about the split location of how to print it. Okay. So this one, I'm not sure yet. But I give it as a high possibility is the right answer. Why? Because we have a newspaper production. And here we have the newspaper production. Six, VI, six, newspapers superseded by technology. Newspapers superseded by technology. It doesn't talk about technology here at all. Getting the newspaper to the printing center. Getting the newspaper to the printing center means uh, moving, uh, receiving, uh, transmitting, uh, transferring. It doesn't talk about that. So we just leave it. Controlling the robots talks about robots. We don't need it. And beware of robots talks about a warning of the robots. Also, we don't need it. So in this case, we have only this answer. Split location for newspaper production. That's the only right answer here. Okay, everyone? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, any questions here? No. No. Okay. Let's come to paragraph B. Let's come to paragraph B. <laughs> Once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition, all the pages are transmitted electronically from the prepress center to the printing center. Let's reread it. Once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition, all the pages are transmitted electronically from the prepress center to the printing center. All the pages are transmitted to the printing center. So, where is the right answer? I will give you one minute to think of. Okay, what's the answer? Mm, getting the newspaper to the printing center. Yes, I think VII. Okay, you are right. It's getting the newspaper to the printing center. Why? Because it talks about the transmitting the newspaper to the printing center, which matches with the sentence which I have read. Let me reread it. Once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition, all the pages are transmitted from the paper center to the printing center. Okay, everyone? Okay. Okay. Let's see number six. Uh, sir, sorry, I mean slide number six. C. Paragraph C. I just want you to pay attention to this one. Pay attention and listen to my explanation. A procession of automated vehicles. A procession of automated vehicles is busy at the new printing center where the Sydney Morning Herald is printed each day. Let me read it again. A procession of automated vehicles is busy 
of the new printing center where the Sydney Morning Herald is printed each day. I don't see here any main idea. Is there any main idea here? No. There is no, there is no main idea. Where is the main idea if there is? Let me read it again. A procession of automated vehicles is busy of the new printing center where the Sydney Morning Herald is printed each day. Have a look on it. Have a look on it. Can you see any main idea? No. Okay. Let me continue okay. reading. Let me continue reading. With lights flashing and warning horns honking. I will go back to this one. With lights flashing and warning horns honking, the robots, to give them their correct name, the LGVs, or laser guided vehicles. Look for all the world like enthusiastic machines from a science fiction movie as they follow their own random paths around the plant, busily getting on with their own jobs. Let me repeat the sentence. With lights flashing and warning horns honking, the robots, to give them their correct name the LGVs or laser guided vehicles here between the two brackets yes we have the sentence to give them the correct name the LGVs or laser guided vehicles I know that the first thing you were thinking about is that the answer is whether heading number two or heading number four Yes. Have a look on it. Okay, okay. Now, you've had a look on it for a minute. Okay. To give them their own correct name, the LGVs or laser guided vehicles. Since the sentence is between two brackets, between two brackets, that means it's not a main sentence, it's an extra one. Explains the word that, uh, that precedes. The sentence explains the word that the precedes. Which word the precedes? Robots. Okay? Robots. So it means this is an extra sentence. It's not in the text. We just put it to explain the meaning of the word robots. That's it. Okay? So, okay. if you want to be more sure, delete it. Just delete it. I will delete it and go back to it. Okay, here it is. I'm deleting it. Let's read it. The robots, look, with lights flashing and warning horns honking, the robots look for all the world like enthusiastic machines. It doesn't affect. Does it affect? Have a look on it for a minute. Have a look on it for a minute. Read it without the sentence which I have just deleted. Okay, the sentence which I have just deleted doesn't affect this one, the highlighted one. Okay, so it means we don't need it. In the aisles, sometimes they trick you uh, by this way. 
whether they give you a sentence between two brackets or sometimes they put it between two commas. It means it explains the meaning of the word that it precedes. So, in this case, we delete this sentence and read. With lights flashing and warning horns honking, the robots look for all the world like enthusiastic machines. Okay, now, let's go back to the main sentence. With lights flashing and warning horns honking. Lights flashing and warning horns honking. Beep. Beep, warning, horns, honking. We said if we have warning, if we have uh, an alert, if we have uh, also uh, a danger, we said yes. if we have uh, a caution. So which one? Without thinking, which one? That's one. I think I, I X. Yes, That's it's, one. It's the last one. IX, beware of robots. Why did I choose beware? Because beware is the only heading gives the meaning of warning. Beware, alert, warning, danger. Okay, everyone? Okay. Okay, beware of robots. Okay, do you have any questions here? No questions? No. I think it's clear. No. Let's move to the last part, part, D, D. The question newspaper worker, workers now are, must now ask, however, is, the question newspaper workers must now ask, however, is, how long will it be before the robots are writing the newspapers as well as running the printing center, churning out the latest edition every morning? Before we answer this one, churning out this one. What's the meaning of churning out? It's an uncommon word, churning out, to churn, to churn out. You don't need its meaning. You don't need it. It doesn't affect. They just added this word to mislead you. Why? Because you will leave the answer and you will focus on the meaning of this word. You will lose time, and you might not, uh, might not, might not answer the right answer. You got it? Yes. Okay, but Abdullah. Abdullah. Each of, uh, yes. Uh, same meaning, eat for eat. You don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't even think about it. Why? Because churning out, churning out. Here, they put it to mislead you, to mislead your focus. Okay. This okay. is how this is how sometimes it, how they sometimes try to trick you in the aisles. Okay. So let's go back to look for the answer. Up to the rule, which we have taken. How long will it be? How long will it be? Since we have one, what does it what does it talk about? Okay. Since we have one, what does it talk about? Yes. It talks about future. 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 Yeah. Okay. It talks about the future and they are thinking of the future. They are thinking about the future. So which one gives the future? thinking of the future. Which one? We have only one heading. Looking ahead. Three, yeah. This one. So that's the only answer. About okay. the future. Yes. Okay, everyone. Because of ING or because of what? Okay. Because of one talks about the future and because of the idea here how long will it be before the robots are writing the newspaper? They are thinking about the future and of the future that the robots in the future might start writing uh, the newspaper. You got it? Okay. Okay. So 
how did I know it's the future from the word will? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, and this one gives the future. Looking ahead. Do you have any questions? No. No. Okay. Let's move here. Let's move here. I don't want you to start from this one. Eight, nine, ten, leave them. Start from 11, from this one, from paragraph D. Mm -hmm. After you finish D, E, F, G, H, we will go back to paragraphs A, B, C. Okay? Take three minutes to answer this one, then we will do it together. D, start. Okay. Don't forget, when you answer, when you tell me the answer, I will ask for the reason. Okay. okay. Read it carefully. Read it carefully. Okay. Just a minute, I will be back. I will be back. Okay, sorry. Yes. Uh, so, did you find the answer? No. Maybe. <laughs> Not yet. Yes. Take two extra minutes. Let's see. Yes, okay. Okay, now are you ready? Take okay. your time. Okay. Okay, let's see. Abdullah, what's the answer? I think XI. XI, why? Let me listen to the reason, Abdullah, why? 
Because the online feedback from where is it? Or where is it? The online feedback from? Uh, this act I I read it. The internet is moving the world closer to perfect product and price information. The additional knowledge it can provide makes consumers more self-assured uh, and bold enough to go into a car dealership and refuse to bargain. Those are the first two sentences. Retry. I'm giving you, I'm giving you two extra minutes, everyone. Focus. I want you to focus. Okay. Remember. Remember. We said that sometimes it could be a simple expression gives the entire meaning. If you remember when we started explaining. And also we said uh, that uh, there could be a synonym which gives the right meaning. Well, okay, let me see again, okay. Abdullah. Yes, Abdullah? Yes, teacher. Yes. What might be the answer and why, Abdullah? I think teacher XI because as a result, the process of shopping is increasing. No? Increasing. Where is the increasing? Yes, you are saying a right thing, increasing. But you are giving the wrong answer. Increasing, yes. But where is this increase? You need to know where this increase I, is. An increase customer? Confidence? Yes, that's a great. Thank you. Okay, you said increasing customer confidence. Why? Because it says makes consumers more self assured. Okay? Hmm. Do this one. This one is comprehensive by the meaning, by the meaning. Focus.
while let me see Ahmed yes Ahmed yes teacher. did you find the answer mm. teacher maybe <laughs> okay let's see if it is right tell me the reason yes uh, uh, the answer is uh, V I I I unfortunately not unfortunately not read it read it and take the meaning of it far from losing the trade to online merchants stores that offer the sorts of goods people find out about online can gain from this a new form of consumer be behavior okay ahmed take take two extra minutes to tell me the answer Okay, Ahmed, did you find the answer? Teacher, I have to answer. <laughs> no, choose one of them. Which one do I, you okay. think uh, is the more, more suitable? Yes? I think uh, number three. I, I, I. Why? Where did you find it? Number three. Because uh, use uh, change customer. Behavior here, same, same. Where, where is the behavior here? Uh, a new form of customer behavior, or you know? no? This is not change. This is a new form. A new. So, which one is more suitable? Mm. One last chance, Ahmed. One last chance, and I will see the others. Yes, Which one? Uh, benefit number two. Yes, it's a benefit to retailers. Why? Yes. Because a retailer means uh, a merchant of single pieces. A merchant of single pieces. Far from mm. losing the trade to online merchant. That means from losing to a merchant. That means it's a benefit. Mm -hmm. It's an advantage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. F. Merchants who charge too much and who an offer poor service, however, should be where? 
Okay, this is Hussain. Yes, Hussain. Okay, Hussein, did you find the answer? Yes, I think. Where is it? Uh, it's uh, V. Read it. V, the dangers for retailers. retailers. Thank you. Yes. Why? Uh, in, in, in paragraph F, he said, beware, and beware is synonym for dangers. Thank you. Merchants should be well. Merchants, yes. this word, should be well. And here, dangers for retailers. Dangers for merchants. So this is the right answer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank now you. let's see paragraph G. Paragraph G. Par paragraph G needs an explanation. Okay. Before we start with paragraph G, I will go back to paragraphs A, B, and C. Paragraphs A, B, and C. Okay? Now, okay. paragraph A says, the amount of time people spend researching, checking the prices, visiting stores, and seeking see. advice. Researching, checking the prices, visiting stores, and seeking advice. So, what do they mean? That's the question. Here, if you remember the first lecture we took for the IELTS, I explained this one, and I focused on explaining this one. Researching, checking the prices, visiting the stores, and seeking. What do they mean? They mean Purchasing. Look at purchasing. IV. Yes. Purchasing, because a purchase means to run after something, to follow something, to run after something, to chase something, and the meaning here means that you are chasing, researching, checking the prices, visiting, visiting the stores, and seeking advice. So, introducing a novel approach to purchasing. Now, B, more people are buying the products online, especially at peak buying periods. That's the first sentence. It has no main idea. The total value of e-commerce, it talks about the value of e-commerce, of commerce, value of commerce. Transactions in the United States in the fourth quarter of 2004 reached $18 billion, a 22% increase over the same period in 2003, according to the Department of Commerce in Washington, D.C. Okay, what does it talk about? What does it talk about? I gave you time to have a look on. It talks about value of e-commerce. Trade. I beg your pardon? Uh, trade. Talking about trade. It talks about the trade you are right. But it's different. It does not mean a trade precisely here. You are right. It talks about the trade. But we have some sign to give us the answer which one is it you are right it talks about the trade what does the trade mean 
we don't have a trade here. We don't yeah, have yeah. a trade. So trade, what does it mean? Uh, export, import. Okay, what else? We don't have export and import. So what do we have? We have... Change. We have... Changing. Just a second. When you import and you, you export, what do you deal with? Ah, sale by. Yes, sales. Yeah, yeah. You deal with sales. Yeah. It's sales. It talks about a trade. You are right. Uh, commerce means a trade. <laughs> and also it means buy and sell. And also it means money. Sales. So yeah. it means sales. When it means sales, we have one sales here. Yes. Sales. I look at the sales figures. Yes, it matches. Why? Because there is a percentage. We have two percentages. Okay. Okay, okay. Abdullah. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. So the answer will be I look at the sales figures. Now, let's come to number 10. I mean, exercise C. If you consider the internet's wide, wider influence over what people spend their money on, if you consider the internet's wider influence over what people spend their money on, influence, we said when there is the word influence, the word effect, that means there is a change. Why? <clears throat> because if you are influenced, by someone or by something you will change something here it talks about influence over what people spend their money on people who spend money who are they they are customers consumers and buyers the one who spend the money customer consumer client and buyer so it's a change over <clears throat> the one of these. So where is the answer? There is influence. The there is the eyes. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Read it very well. Read it very well. V double I says changing the face of the shop. This one does not talk about the face of the shop. No. Mm. no the Don't, eye. It talks, just a second. Where is the change of the eye? Is there a change? Do we have any word means change? No. No. Uh, triple I. A triple I, I said. Why? Yes. The bigger picture uh, of how internet, internet, Yes, uh, and bigger is wider, some there has. Yes, internet, yes. internet, influence, yes. changes, that means change. Yes. Consumer, we have people spend their money, the people who spend yes. money. Consumer, yes. customer, client, buyer. Okay, everyone? Okay, okay Abdullah, okay? No. Would you like me to re-explain it? Yeah, please. Okay, I will do. Thank you. So, okay, listen. <coughs> if you consider the internet's wider influence, influence and effect mean change. Okay, Abdullah? Okay. 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 Where is this change? Over what people spend their money on. The people who spend the money, what are they? A customer spends money a consumer spends money a client spends money and a buyer the people who buy they yeah. spend money so we have two changes here change of v double i a change of triple i that means change of number seven in the headings and change of number three in the headings let's see number seven says changing the face of the shop and the internet site it talks about change but of the shop and the internet so yeah 
it's not the right one. Because the change here is on the people who spend money. Okay? Okay. So, let's see number three. The bigger picture of how internet use changes consumer behavior. Consumer is a person who spends money. So, that's the right answer. Okay, Abdullah? Okay. You got okay, it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it, yes. Okay. Another word which I didn't tell you gives the meaning of change. Adjust. Adjust also means change. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, sorry, there is someone is asking on the uh, Zoom. Okay. No, they don't have a lecture. Is that Ahmed? On the Zoom? I don't know. iPhone. Ah, yes, yes. Sir. Just a second. Ahmed Lee. Because teacher. Okay, I will see. Hey. The electric is problem. Oh, the electricity. Okay, sorry. Are you Ahmed? Yes, yes, sorry. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so now. Let's see number 14, G. Slide number 14, G. Some companies are already adjusting. We said adjust means change also. Adjust also means change. Adjusting their business models to take account of these trends. Let me explain the business models. A model, when you go to a company, Let's say a shop, a clothing shop. Where do you find the models? You, f you find the models on the window, on the front window of the shop. Isn't it right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. When you find good clothes, you go immediately to look for your size or to try to find the one which suits you or matches your uh, style here so a model of the shop it says adjusting their business models that means changing their shops okay changing the face the, the front window means the front window means the face of the shops okay Okay. So, you got it? Yes. Okay. okay, so in this case, the answer would be which one? It will be changing the face of the shop and the, the internet site. Okay. 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 Do you have a questions here? No. No. No questions? Okay. I will stop recording. I'll stop sharing and recording this one here. And we will talk 